What's up, YouTubes? Um, I wanted to, uh, I've been getting a few questions lately about how I'm able to tell who's selling my contact information um, online and um, and how I'm able to do that. And so I kind of just wanted to walk you through a quick presentation of how to set it up um, so that you can, one, prevent yourself from receiving obnoxious amounts of spam messages, and two, if you start receiving obnoxious amounts of spam um, messages, understanding where they come from. Um, so let's go over a few things that I'm expecting you to know uh, ahead of time. One, you're supposed to have a Google Apps for Business account. It can't be the free Google Apps account. It's got to be the for business account. Um, you need to have administration access to that Google Apps for Business account. And you're going to need... Um, I mean, really, to get Google Apps set up, you need DNS access and some knowledge. And then you're also going to need a contact form. So let's go through how this works. Um, this is my friend's um, web application. Uh, it's free invoicing. And so we're going to create um, a fake account with them. So sorry, Eric, for using you as a demonstration. But I know that you won't spam anybody. So um, that's why we're doing it. So first thing we're gonna um, we're gonna want to get started for free, and it's gonna ask us for some contact info here. So um, you know, let's type Jordan Skoll, and then for our email, this is where we're gonna stop, pause, and reflect. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go to our Google Apps administration area. We're gonna log in. And we're going to go to this tab where it says organization and users. Once that loads. And then we're going to come to our specific names. Um, I only have two people in my organization here. But um, you want this area right here where it says nicknames. Um, and so we're going to want to add a nickname. And we're going to make it specific for the application that we're signing up for. So heel pay, save changes. And now when we go back to heel pay, we're going to set up a heel pay at school.us. That'll be our thing. And then we'll create a password and another password. And I'm just going to hopefully follow this to through and see if we get a can get a confirmation email so I can show you how it works. So um, so it looks like we're we're in here, um, and so let's look at our own settings. Um, so, um, let's see if something comes. I think this is a message from the from Tigers. So let's let's force it to send a. Um, we'll send password reset instructions. So, okay. And you'll see password instruction sent to Jordan heel pay at skull.us. Um, and you'll see here in my little Sparrow app, we just got an email. So let's look at how this works. Um, someone has requested a link to change your password, blah, 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 what we would expect. But if we look at this information, you'll see it's coming to heel pay at school.us now I didn't do anything to my mailbox I didn't I didn't um, add anything to my settings if I go to my main home screen my mail.school.us it comes to the exact same same mailboxes as everywhere else I didn't have to do any additional settings um, and just by simply looking at this this email right here, he'll pay at school.us, I'm able to know that oh, this spam message is coming from from it's being addressed to he'll pay at school.us, and so we know, um, you know, we know that that he'll pay sold our our information to a marketing list or something like that. Now the reason I used he'll pay, I want to just make sure that everybody's clear. Heel Pay will never spam you. They're an outstanding company, and that's why I chose to use them is because I actually didn't want any um, any spam. So that's how easy it is. Uh, get started with Google Apps for Business. Um, get started sending free invoices with Heel Pay, um, and start 
taking charge of your email box um, and get reducing those spam messages oh let, let's just go if you're curious how to make them stop so let's just say you're getting a whole bunch of spam messages let's go to our dashboard again um, so say I'm just getting flooded with this all sorts of you know uh, inappropriate content or who even knows I mean that doesn't happen that bad anymore but we'll come in to the same screen that we were on before and if everything's coming to this one email address we'll just click remove save changes and from here on out all those emails will begin to bounce because an email doesn't actually um, exist at that account so let me know if you have any questions um, leave a comment or whatever okay bye